Gemini, welcome to your tarot reading for May 2024. We begin with the High Priestess in your past position. The High Priestess represents intuition, inner knowledge, and subconscious wisdom. You may have been finding yourself relying heavily on your intuition and your inner guidance to to navigate through some challenges or decisions and it looks like you've had a really strong connection to your inner self recently and have been really doing your best to follow your instincts in terms of guiding your path this card can be a card of decision making we see the two pillars here representing in some cases two options there may have been a decision that you've been weighing and, and taking quite seriously so it looks like it's it's a big decision the high priestess is all about the need for reflection there's something going on or there has been something going on in your life that's required you to really do some deep thinking and, and again not on just that surface level not a light decision but deep thinking about something that's going to impact your life quite significantly in one way or another. The High Priestess is very much about our need to have spiritual purpose in our lives. The moon lying at her feet here represents how when we go to sleep, our subconscious delivers messages that a lot of times our dreams are just nonsense in a way or they might appear to be nonsense but sometimes there's deep spiritual messages coming through that are related to our spiritual purpose that our subconscious is desperately trying to direct us towards to get our attention to get us to focus on and when we wake up a lot of times we'll remember that we'll have these instincts about that and we'll do our best to apply them in reality but then the demands of reality kind of get in our way, our jobs, our family, our daily commute, that kind of thing gets in the way of our ability to connect with our spiritual purpose and more importantly, to apply it to our lives. I think recently you've been very much wanting to connect with your spiritual purpose. And that's required a lot of quiet reflection on your part. And I think that has to do with some kind of big decision that you have been weighing recently. In your present position, we have the Nine of Wands. This card, when it comes up, often indicates that a lot of resilience and perseverance has been required of you. You've been feeling quite on guard and you're feeling a little exhausted from the challenges that you've faced recently. You've really been through a lot. We see that bandage on his head indicating some form of injury, but you're, you're still standing strong. You might be feeling a bit wary or defensive, but you are in a position of strength. You're, you're feeling the weight of your recent experiences, but you are in a position of strength. This is a card very much about reassessment before making our next move. This person is in the act of just about turning his head around and looking to the past. And he's a wands person here. Wands people don't love turning around to examine the past. They kind of, they're the type to maybe kind of run towards greener pastures. They're not big on reflecting on historical events in their own life for better or for worse but this person is about to do that we just see him slightly turning his head and, and he's about to fully turn around <clears throat> and take stock of these wands behind him that represent his past experiences and he's doing that because he's understanding the wisdom of doing so he's about to take some kind of significant step and he wants to be really sure he's making the right step the right choice and looking at back at his past and weighing which choices have led to good outcomes and which have led to failures that's what's going to help him make a good decision so it looks like you're in the process right now of deeply contemplating something that's connected to your spiritual purpose or wanting to connect with a spiritual purpose that's going to require you to look back 
at your recent actions and experiences, or not even recent, but your, your past experiences and decisions and how they've led you to where you are to be able to make the best decision moving forward. So make sure you do that. If it's something you're not comfortable doing, just like this wands guy here, force yourself to do that. You're, it's going to be rewarding and helpful to you right now to understand your past experiences and how they've gotten you here. In your position of challenges that you might face this month, we have the Fool card. So when this card shows up, it represents new beginnings, spontaneity, and taking a leap of faith. But in the position of challenges, it suggests that the idea of starting fresh or taking risks might be really daunting for you right now. You might feel a bit hesitant or fearful about stepping into the unknown. And this card is coming up as a warning too against being too impulsive or naive in your approach to, to life and the challenges of life right now. Again, the showing up in the challenges position requires us to read it as if it's upside down. I don't do reversals in my readings, but when we have cards in the challenge position, it's kind of flipping the card on its head. So when the fool is in a reverse position, it's about taking a leap of faith that might be a little bit ill-advised where you haven't fully thought something through in a situation that might require that you have done so. The fool in an upright position is, is kind of the universe supporting you taking this leap of faith. With it reversed, it's saying, eh, maybe we should do a little bit of thinking and planning before we do this. It's indicating that you might be taking this leap of faith at the expense of those around you in the sense of maybe you'll have to be financially reliant on someone else. It's kind of like a decision of like, I'm going to quit my job and be a full-time artist without really having a plan to have that be financially supportive. And next thing you know, your family or your partner is having to kind of foot the bill for you because you haven't put a, a plan in place to be that full-time artist that you very much are capable of being. This card isn't saying that that's not a possibility. It's just maybe about a little bit of lack of planning on your part to help make that happen for yourself. So this card is showing up to say, let's do a little bit of planning. Let's not take this leap of faith entirely blindly or naively right now. Let's maybe do a little bit of thinking first. And I think that's definitely supported by this nine of wands and, and the high priestess. I, actually, this whole reading, I see you thinking, 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 and it's a good thing. You need to do some thinking right now. It's very much um, wise for you to do so. In the position of opportunities around you right now, we have the justice card. So this card represents fairness and balance and accountability. In this position of opportunities, it's suggesting that there are opportunities for you to find balance and harmony in your life. There may be some legal matters, negotiations or decisions that are gonna require some careful consideration on your part and impartial judgment. So kind of non-emotional judgment. When this card shows up too, it's encouraging you to seek fairness and truth in your actions and relationships. It's very much a card of consequence. So it's showing up in your opportunities position. It's suggesting to me an opportunity to, this is very much related to the Nine of Wands, to really consider how your past actions have gotten you to the place you're at for good or for bad. And sometimes when the Justice card shows up, it's saying, maybe things aren't great right now because of your past actions. Let's think that through. What did we do to get ourselves here? If we're not happy with the situation, let's take accountability. Let's say, how did I get myself here? And really think about those past decisions and how they've created your current reality. It's time to really weigh that. And that's very similar to the energy of the Knight of Wands. That's going to help you make better decisions moving forward. Because this is in the opportunities as well, 
I'm getting that there might be a new job for you coming in. Sometimes when the justice card shows up, it's talking about legal documents, signing a new job contract, something like that. So there may be this month an opportunity for a new position that requires you to sign some kind of a contract. And you know, that being on the heels of the full card in the challenge position, be sure you know what you're getting yourself, yourself into if you do sign any kind of legally binding contract, job or otherwise, be really clear about the conditions and the consequences of that contract. Because I think the fool's coming in as a little bit of a, a relationship here to justice in terms of not doing anything too hastily or naively, not reading through a contract, not understanding the fine print, not really doing our research on if it's a new job, the, the work culture or the environment we're signing up to be a part of. So make sure you do your due diligence and your research before signing any contract. But I'm not seeing this as a negative thing. I'm actually seeing this as something that will actually represent the return of some kind of balance in your life. And it'll it'll kind of you'll be kind of having this feeling of like, ah, finally, all the hard work I put in around this career is finally paying off. Someone's actually going to reward me financially and otherwise for the hard work I have put in in the past. And I, I think that's important to remember with this nine of wands too, that you have put in a lot of hard work. It looks like perhaps this month you might be getting something that represents rewards for that hard work. In the position of advice, we have the four of cups here. So this often symbolizes contemplation and introspection. And it can sometimes represent being dissatisfied with the status quo. So in the advice position, it's saying that you might need to take a step back and reflect on your emotions and your desires. You might be feeling a bit apathetic or uninspired with your current circumstances. So the advice here is to look within and reassess your priorities. Be open as well to new opportunities and perspectives that may be presenting themselves to you, even if they seem unexciting at first glance. This person in this card is, is taking a moment to themselves to reassess things, to meditate, to connect with the understanding that they need emotional and spiritual fulfillment in their lives. They have all these opportunities lined up in front of them and they're starting to understand the amount of effort and concentration and hard work they're going to have to put in to take advantage of these opportunities and to be able and willing to put in all that hard work and effort they're going to need to be happy they're going to need to feel emotional fulfillment on some level and this person is very much in the act of trying to figure out how they can create that emotional fulfillment and sustenance for themselves. They're trying to figure out how they can be independent in a way, in terms of creating their own happiness, their own sense of fulfillment. So they don't have to rely on external circumstances. So I'm, I'm getting the sense here that you're making some kind of decision this month that has to do with you really reflecting on your past and things that have worked, things that haven't worked, things that have made you feel fulfilled, things that haven't, and really wanting to make the correct decisions in terms of kind of permanently, I don't know if that's possible, but as permanently as possible, connecting you with a source of spiritual direction and emotional fulfillment. And I, I see you doing that. This bottom row is, is letting me know that justice, there'll be a feeling of, of justice being restored for you. It's going to take a lot of mental energy. It's going to take some fortitude in terms of both looking back at your past and figuring out which decisions worked for you or against you, honoring this hard work that you've put in and, and kind of forging forwards, even though you might be feeling a little weary, 
a little exhausted, a little like, when am I going to get my just rewards for all of this hard work that I've put in? There might be this change that you're considering, this decision that you're, you're thinking about might be about making some kind of big change that requires a bit of a leap of faith and you might not feel like you've been able to really think it through. You might not be able to see the future. If I, if I make X, Y, or Z decision, you might not be able to see exactly where that's going to lead you. But, and that's a bit scary and you are being advised to not be completely naive in doing so. But I think once you make this decision, it's going to constitute a feeling of things being balanced out again, some kind of karmic reward coming in for you that is the result of your willingness to do this spiritual work of reassessment, of realigning yourself with your spiritual purpose. So that, that is your task this month. Tap into that high priestess energy. Allow her to guide you. Your intuition is kind of screaming at you right now. We need spiritual direction. Even if this is to do with a career, if this is a relationship reading for you, whatever it is, there needs to be emotional and emotional fulfillment and spiritual direction involved in this decision. That's the only way you are going to end up feeling happy and good right now. So involve that in your decision making and you'll be you'll be sitting pretty so that is your reading for this month i hope you enjoyed it i hope it resonated for you please do let me know in the comments what you thought please be sure to like and subscribe as well and thank you so much for being here i'll see you next time